Hello everybody and welcome to the second video in uh, our uh, course deep learning and in this video we're gonna see uh, some history and facts uh, that we must see to understand how uh, scientists came up with this model and from where, from where did they take it so we're gonna see some history and facts and how actual brain works a little bit information about how actually brain works because actually neural networks are not just uh, coming uh, like from math simply from math like a hundred percent they're actually coming from the biology field uh, specifically from brain uh, brain studies field so <clears throat> neural networks were in, uh, invented to mimic the brain uh, because people just noticed that the brain is like uh, actually only one thing that uh, differentiate uh, humans from other uh, species so uh, they wanted to mimic that uh, that great asset for humans so uh, neural networks are not famous until recently why actually they are created I think uh, late 70s the beginning of 80s and no one actually cared about them and uh, uh, one one of their crea creators like the person who actually is considered as a godfather for the neural networks is uh, Jeffrey Hinton I really recommend to uh, search uh, search him uh, actually he had some problems even with his supervisors uh, and other uh, people in the research uh, community uh, because they didn't no one actually believed in neural networks because at the beginning they didn't work well why because uh, there was no not enough uh, capable hardware to uh, do all the computations needed because they are really hard to, uh, to compute for like uh, uh, early days computers and also the absence of data and the most important thing you might like hear nowadays about the concept of big data actually big data is uh, the most important thing that made actually neural networks work and um, made us able to benefit from from them so uh, nowadays they are the state of the art they are like used in every single almost every single thing and they achieve like really a high accuracy uh, to predict things to to do many many tasks tasks and that's why you are taking this course <clears throat> so uh, there is one famous experiment called the neuron rewiring uh, that experiment is done by uh, taking out, uh, uh, like, for example, you you are seen when, with one part of the brain, and uh, let me see. Yeah, actually, there is a picture here, so let's see the picture. So, um, so you can hear with this part of the brain. It's called the, the auditory uh, cortex. So. This part of the brain is responsible for hearing. So what they do is cut, cut the. Actually, they cut the visual cortex. This this part is responsible of seeing. So they cut the wires here and they attach them to them to this part of the brain, and they they cut the auditory cortex. Of course, not on humans, on animals, but the same effect. So what they noticed, the scientists, what they noticed is that this part actually learned to see, like literally learned to see, like learned to do the same function as this part here. So this was really huge. Uh, some part of the brain learned to do another part's job. <clears throat> so uh, the experiment was called neuron rewrite rewiring and it says that same brain tissue can process sight sound or touch you just need to teach it to do that so as a conclusion 
after that, like what computer science scientists did is uh, conclude that there might be one learning algorithm that can process sight, sound, or touch. So we just need to know what that algorithm is. So let's see what how neuron neurons in brain are actually uh, made. So uh, here we have these these uh, uh, these parts are called uh, dendroids, and we have the the center of the neuron, uh, which you can call it uh, cell body, or the cell simply, <clears throat> and then as an output from the neuron we have an axion. So, the most important thing to know is the axion, the, the cell body, and the dendroid. So, what happens for each neuron here is that the uh, a wave or some uh, voltage of electricity come through the dendroids, here, here, like for, through all the dendroids, maybe just one of them, maybe two of them, and they get processed these voltages get processed here in the in the cell body and then there will be an in, an output uh, through the axion and then the terminal uh, button so that's how one neuron works so let's see how set of neurons works so <clears throat> uh, through the dendrites the like some uh, information get processed here and then we have an output that output is uh, fed to another neuron through other dendroids and this neuron might be connected to other neurons from here so the neuron gets all the information and process it and then output it and then give it to another neuron and so on and that's how uh, data you can say information is processed inside our brains uh, using uh, through uh, neurons so uh, in this video we saw some uh, history uh, and some uh, information about uh, how neurons how uh, biological neurons uh, actually work so the goal now in the next video we're gonna see how we get this model and use it to build artificial neurons uh, to build artificial intelligence so we can solve uh, our tasks or solve problems uh, for real world so we're gonna see that next video thank you for watching and stay tuned